During scientific investigations, scientists often have to work with hazardous chemicals. Such chemicals may be toxic, corrosive, or flammable. In this video, we will learn how to safely handle corrosive and flammable chemicals while in the science lab. The first rule of safety is to be familiar with the potential risks of working with these types of chemicals generally and with the particular chemical. Each chemical you use in the lab must have a material safety data sheet, or MSDS, available. Study the MSDS carefully since it has information on the chemical's hazards, necessary safety precautions, and handling and disposal instructions. When work begins, keep the MSDS close by for quick reference if needed. Be sure to also study the label on the chemical container. The label includes numbers and symbols regarding health hazards, flammability, reactivity, and necessary personal protective equipment such as goggles, gloves, or a chemical apron. When you are working with acids, always transport them in an approved acid bucket to avoid spills or dropping the container. You should also be familiar with procedures to deal with spills. Acids should be stored in a well-ventilated area. Highly concentrated acids should be kept in a fume hood to prevent inhalation of harmful vapors. Some acids are flammable, as well as corrosive, or may cause toxic fumes when reacting with other substances, so additional safety precautions may be necessary. Ideally, acids should be stored at cool temperatures and away from any heat source. The container should remain well above freezing to prevent rupture of the container. The container should be stored with the label facing out and away from alkali chemicals. Alkali chemicals or bases can also be hazardous. Bases need the same safety precautions as those for acids. Flammable compounds pose a risk of fire and serious injury. Ignition sources include open flames, such as Bunsen burners or sources of high heat, such as hot plates. Flammable and corrosive chemicals pose safety and health risks, but the laboratory is safe when you follow the proper techniques and safeguards.